Oh, I'd call the member for McKellar. Well, um, thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker. I, I feel, after such eloquence, compelled to make a contribution to this debate. I thank the member for Rankin for raising this critical issue, the member for Kingsford Smith for his eloquence, and of course the member for Brisbane for being the only one who's sensible in this entire debate thus far. I made a New Year's resolution. I made a New Year's resolution, which was. Mr Deputy Speaker, that I was going to be a kinder, gentler person this term of parliament, that I, would, that I would deal with ideas and not with people. But seriously, when the member for Rankin, the former chief of staff to, to Swanee, the, the architect of the four surplus budgets, a tragedy so epic that it deserved its own orchestra, comes before us and lectures us about the economy and then, of course, has a PhD how does it feel to be you know, not even in the top ten of economists on that side of the House, Mr Speaker, has a PhD in Paul Keating, the man who gave us the, um, the, uh, the recession we had to have, who had our credit rating downgraded? I mean, Lucifer himself could not create the temptations that the member for Rankin creates every time he stands up and lectures this House about economic management. But what we have here, I mean, and then of course a speech that was meant to be entertaining, but just became one of those low-level drones that you get when you go to the dentist. I mean, his best lines actually came from repeating the interjections from the member for Morton. So I mean, this is what we are left with on Labor. They can't even come up with a good attack point. So no wonder, no wonder. When we took over in 2013, there were $387 billion in deficits. The growth was at 0.7 per cent. That we had the lowest level of workforce participation in a generation. No wonder, if that's the best they've got, that that's what we faced when we came in here. In comparison to that, we now have an economy with a AAA credit rating that's been taken off negative watch. We have balanced budgets that are becoming a surplus. We have jobs are up, we have dependency down, we have free trade agreements up and we have taxes down. That's what's happened under the Morrison government. That's what's happened under the Liberal Party. Because we believe, unlike those opposite, unlike those opposite, we believe that people deserve to keep more of what they earn, whereas those opposite believe that it's, it's their money and they're just letting them keep it. The IMF, the IMF report that came over, that came, uh, that was handed down overnight, makes the point that Australia, that world, that global growth is going to go down and has been trending down for some time. It makes it clear that it makes it clear that the reason for that is the trade war between the Chinese and the United States. Does it really surprise those opposite that Australia's growth rate would be hit harder? than other nations in the global economy, given our exposure to the Chinese economy, given that our export sector is so dependent upon the Chinese, upon the Chinese economy. So what this government has been doing, which they could never do in, in a lifetime, is diversifying who we trade with through free trade agreements with other nations. We have been the ones that have been ensuring that the risk that the Australian economy faces is actually turned down. But do they thank us? No. They wouldn't even understand what we've been doing. This is the 28th year of economic expansion in Australia. Those opposite wouldn't know anything about that whatsoever. Our plan is to increase economic freedom. Our plan is to increase economic hope. Our plan is to increase economic opportunity. Those opposites' plan is simply to increase taxes. That's all they want to do. We've created more jobs and over a million of them, and we are going to continue to create more jobs. We are going to put people at the heart of this economy, not their mates in the trade union movement, not their mates in industry super. We are going to make sure that consumer protection reflects those people who are buying financial products, who are buying goods and services, we are going to allow companies to compete. We are going to um, reduce the amount of people at the uh, barriers to entry for small companies and allow them to be the most competitive small businesses in the world, whether it be through lower corporate taxes, whether it be through the increased instant asset write-off. 
Labor's answer to all of this is to panic and, no doubt, a new round of subsidised pink bats.